This is Roger Clayton with Song Construction, and this is a song I wrote last year called I Like Friday and Friday Likes Me. That's a song I wrote last year, uh, 2012, last year, and the reason I wanted to post that one first for a couple reasons. One is because a lot of people really seem to like that song. I've made little demos for friends, and everybody always, I'll have a bunch of songs on there, but that's one of the main songs they always want, they talk about. Uh, even my managers at work, and that was not written about anybody I'm working for right now, in case you're checking this out. Uh, my current bosses. There was a boss in Plano, Texas, actually. He used to always go around saying, I see the big picture. That's why I want you to do this really stupid thing that I need you to do because I see the big picture. I don't think he could see his butt from a hole in the ground, to tell you the truth. But, you know, that was a, it was a, another boss. But, you know, I have pretty good managers now. But anyway, I, also when I play out anywhere, this song's always requested. But mainly... I'm going to be teaching on songwriting every week. I'm going to post one of my songs primarily, and I'm going to talk about different aspects of putting a song together and what it takes. This song is very simple, very basic, and I'm going to be, I wrote down some of the things I want to be dealing with. 
I'm going to deal with the composition of melody and lyrics. Uh, I'm going to deal with building a song from a good riff. That one's going to be a good one. I'm going to deal with choosing the right song subject for you. I'm going to deal with the strength of simplicity. And that may be one of my next lessons. And I'm going to do a credence song and talk about things I learned from the great John Fogarty, who I think is one of rock and roll's all-time great songwriters. I'm going to talk about emotions that inspire. I'm going to deal with the right use of a bridge when you should or shouldn't use a bridge in a song. And I'm, today I'm going to deal with the hook. The hook is the memorable part, memorable part of the song that focuses on the theme of the song. And really, I'll tell you, you can have a great song, but if you don't have a great hook, then you're missing the most important ingredient. A good hook is the part people remember. It's usually in the chorus of the song. Not always, but usually. And, and it's sometimes in the title. I wrote down a few songs with good hooks that are songs that are favorites of mine, personally. Bridge Over Troubled Water by Paul Simon. Proud Mary. The, the hook on Proud Mary is Rolling on the River, so it's not in the title. Uh, Tears of a Clown by Smokey Robinson, who's one of the, the real heart of Motown and one of my heroes. Uh, let me see. Let It Be by the Beatles. In fact, any Beatles song has great hooks. And Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys. Those are just a few I wrote down. And I'm coming to the, at this from a perspective of classic rock. I uh, grew up on that music and uh, you know I had somebody recently that I respect last year I was playing at a place and he said you know your your music reminds me of late 60s early 70s you know kind of classic rock. I took that as a compliment because I love that music. I think it's some of the best anybody's ever done and the thing about songwriting no matter what era you're in no matter what style you're writing there are certain foundational truths certain elements of what it takes to make a good song. And those are universal and those never change. Uh, the hook uh, can be a, a phrase, can be something you say, something you go through in your life. You know, I'm going to talk about using personal experience to write songs. And the thing that's good about using personal experience is because we all go through the same stuff. So other people are going to hear your lyrics and be able to relate. But I, I'm also going to talk about picking a good subject for a song. That's going to be in the future. But a hook is really simple, real basic. It's going to be something that you that affects you personally, something that uh, someone says to you or you hear often. Or like I used to go around work saying, I like Friday. Friday likes me. It was just a, a saying that I said. Uh, it wasn't any uh, anything I heard anybody else say, but it did catch on. And other people started saying it at a couple of places I worked. So I, one day I was sitting at home with my guitar and I thought, you know, that would make a good theme for a song. So that's how it happened. And it was written probably in about 10, 15 minutes. It was a real quick, easy one to write. And a lot of times the quick, easy ones are the best ones. Uh, I have had songs that I, you know, were a work of years. And maybe I, I played around with lyrics this year and didn't like them. And then the music came back to me a couple years later and I went ahead and finally found the right words. But, uh, and I'm going to talk about how to, how to get the right lyric, how to find the right words for a song. But uh, right now, I just want to keep it short and sweet. This will be the first posting of Song Construction. I'm going to be here every week. And to all you songwriters out there, happy songwriting. See you next week, same time, same channel.